Good morning, Floss Tube. This is Devin coming to you from Florida. Um, this is my Floss Tube channel, Hoops and Needles. And um, it is March 19th, 2020, in the morning. Very sunny and blue sky here. And I'm so happy you guys joined me. Um, wow, is all I have to say. This past week, let's see, today's Thursday. Yeah, past about week and a half has been crazy. Um, to say the least, it sucked. <laughs> totally. I mean, we started off with the time change here in Florida, which messed me up and messed my client up because he's 92. And anytime there's a full moon or a time change, they just, their chemistry just gets out of whack. So he was messed up. I was messed up. Um, let's see, the time change. Then we had the virus. Then we had a full moon on top of that. And then we had Friday the 13th. But before Friday the 13th, on Wednesday night, I got a call from Gainesville, which I don't know anyone in Gainesville, so I didn't answer it. And they left a voicemail saying this is the cardiologist office at Gainesville VA Hospital trying to get a hold of my husband. It's very important. He calls us back. So I called my husband and said, hey, did you get a call from Gainesville? Because they just left a message with me. He goes, yeah. And I said, well, they need you to call back something with your defibrillator. He goes, oh, okay. So he calls him back and I'm at work. He's at home, and they tell him, you need to get to the ER ASAP because your defibrillator alarm's going off. And it's like, oh. So I have an hour till I get off work, and he told him that. He goes, well, my wife doesn't get off till 7. So um, thank God the girl came in a half hour early. I didn't even ask her to or call her, and she came in a half hour early. So I left at 6.30, came home, grabbed some clothes, grabbed him. And Gainesville is an hour and a half from us, so um, that was on top of everything else. So we get there with traffic, and we stop to grab something to eat about 10 o'clock at night. They admit him through the ER and stuff, and um, we get up to a room probably about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then about 10, 11 o'clock. God, I am. It is hot here. Um... About 10 o'clock in the morning, they transfer us to another room because he, they said he needs closer supervision. Um, what happened was he has a defibrillator and a pacemaker combo, and he's had it for 13 years, since 2007 when he had his massive heart attack. And one of the leads that goes from the, the defibrillator down into his heart was bad and it was giving off signals and it could have shocked him any time. So they were worried that it was gonna shock him so they wanted him in ASAP so they could fix it. So two o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, they decide we're, we have an opening, we're gonna go do it. So what they planned on doing was taking, capping the old lead off, the bad lead, because it's in the heart and it's been in there 13 years and they can't take it out and they're, um, because of um, ripping the heart or bleeding or stuff like that. So they were going to cap that off and um, put in two new leads. And that was their plan. Well, when they went in there, his defibrillator had been in there for 13 years and the new leads were not compatible with the old defibrillator. So they had to take the, old, the whole unit out. And whoever put it in last time put it under the muscle. So the muscle had grown around the defibrillator for 13 years and it was they they apologized up one side and down the other they said we are so sorry we had to literally sit there and if you're squeamish you might not want to hear this tear the muscle off the defibrillator and take it out so he was they were so apologetic we had the best experience at the va hospital in gainesville it was the nurses were nice the doctors were great everything was perfect except the stay I mean that we were there so they put a new one in and he came we were able to come home Saturday because he had a hematoma toman and they wanted to keep an eye on it so um came home Saturday afternoon he's been home since he's still home um 
and it started bleeding. The incision started bleeding yesterday, so we put um, a pressure dressing on it, and that seemed to stop it. So he goes to follow up on Wednesday, so hopefully he can hang out till then. If not, we'll be making a trip back to Gainesville. But yeah, it was it was a surprise. We didn't plan on that. It was last minute. It was like on top of everything else. So, and the hospital is the last place you want to be right now. So they wanted us in and out of there as soon as possible because we weren't sick. We're not sick. So, so that has been my last two weeks, to say the least. Not, not good. I mean. But considering everything else, we're alive, we're healthy, we're home. So I'm thankful for that. I have my stitching. Um, my husband's doing well as long as he stays in the house and away from sick people because he does have heart, a heart disease, heart problem. So he is at risk. So other than that, everything's fine. Um, I'm glad you joined me. I hit 300. I'm over 300. So at the end, there will be a giveaway. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all coming here and watching me every two weeks. And I really enjoy doing this and showing you the projects I'm working on. It, it just, I love this community. I can't say enough about this community. Um, so it's just, it's awesome to be involved in here and a part of it. Um, today is real. I'm keeping it real. I have my Florida t-shirt on. No makeup, no jewelry, no nothing. I didn't, I mean, I didn't do my hair. It's, it's real today. So, and that's how it's probably going to be for a while. So, hope you enjoy the show. Kick back, grab a drink. I got my happy spring mug. Let's stay happy, guys. Even though it's not happy outside, it can be happy inside. So, okay, let's get the show on the road. First up, um, I want to shout out to some new floss tubers I've been watching. Um, I only have two this week, but they're awesome ones, so you need to go check them out. Shanda in Stitching in Idaho, wow. Just her introduction is gorgeous. If you haven't, she lives in Idaho by the Continental Divide. She lives around mountains. I mean, just the introduction was awesome. But her stitching is beautiful. She's a um, long, long arm quilter. So she does quilting and her quilts are gorgeous. She's a sweet lady. Um, so go check out Shanda at Stitching in Idaho. And then um, there's Kristen, who's cow stitcher. She is um, a very, she's like, she reminds me of like Java Girl, Christy, and Priscilla. She does those, she's a seasonal stitcher, and she finishes like they do. So she's really good, and she does all the little cute, cute um, stitching, the sam not the sampler, the um, seasonal stitching. But her stitching is beautiful, so go check out Kristen at Cow Stitcher. So those are the two new floss tubes. I've been watching other ones, but they're not new. Um, and if you have any recommendations, please list below. Let me, let me see if I've watched them or not. In this time of being um, restricted to your house, I mean, what else is there to do but stitch and watch floss tubes? So, excuse me. Um, well, let's get on to, I have two finishes. Um... The first one, let's see here. Where are, there you are. The first one is Reindeer Games by Kathy Barrick. And I love stitching this. I love anything by Kathy, but I really love stitching this one. It was a fun stitch. So that's, that is finished. And there it is. And this is on 36 count hmm, winter moon, maybe. I don't remember. Sorry. And then the second one is 
the first patriotic house by waxing moon. And this is on 28 count tea dyed Monaco. And I love stitching this one too. So those are my two finishes for this week. Um, it'll probably be a while before I have any, well, I, I started the next house, so that might be my next finish, but the rest of the projects are um, big. Yep, they're big ones, so. And talk about big projects, let's get into the next section, which is whips. And I was asked um, by two people how many projects I have going up at the time, and I have five going. I rotate five projects right now, and as soon as I'll, I finish one, I'll bring in another one. But first up, let me get the pattern. is L.W. Moffat Sampler 1821 by Samplers Not Forgotten. And this is a pretty one. It's small, so it might be my next finish, I hope. But that's, this is on 36 count fabric. I don't know which one. And let me get my, Hope you can see that. There you go. And this is stitched on with all the required, oh, sorry about that thread and needle. It is stitched on with all the required threads. But yes, I am enjoying this one. And that is L.W. Moffat. Moffat. I always say Moffat. Why do I say Moffat? Motif sampler. Wow. Motif sampler. One of those learning things I got to teach myself. Um, the next one up. Let's see what bag. I'll no. I don't. I'll save her for last is that is where did I oh this lord help me this is the second patriotic house I'm doing by waxing moon I am doing the blue house this time I finished the red house and now I'm working on the blue house. And these are fun. You can buy these off of um, Etsy as a PDF. And this is how much I have done of that. Not much, but it's a start. So that's that one. And then Blackbird Design, Christmas Garden, which I'm changing to English Garden. And I'm changing the fabric and all the colors, but here's the pattern. And I am taking the changes from Stone, Creek, Stone Street Stitchworks she did it, and I asked her if I could copy the color changes and stuff, and she said yes, and so I am, and I'm loving this one. I can't. I worked on Elizabeth Weston yesterday for half a day, and then I pulled this one out and worked on this one, and this is it. And this fabric has dyed my me. You can um. There is white on there, and you can see it in person more than you can on the camera. It's Ekra. But yeah, I am loving this one. I finished, let's see, I did this and the deer yesterday, finished this and the deer, and then I did a lot of the white snowflake things. But yes, I am loving this one. 
so pretty. And that is again Christmas Garden by Blackbird Design and their Home for the Holidays book. 36 count fabric hand dyed by me. Um, the next one um, is a new start. And it's, I'm loving this one too. It's Miss Lucy Coca 1825. And this is another big one. Can you, let me take it out though. There you go. And she is a pretty one. And let's see which one is, is this one? Yeah. And this is also hand, 36 count fabric, hand dyed by me. This is what I have done so far. Let's see. Not much, but. So that is Miss Lucy, and that is the um, designer is just stitching along by just stitching along. So the last one I have is, let's see, Miss Elizabeth Weston. And here's is a pattern in the book and she's a big one and she's gorgeous that's why I said I probably won't have a finish except for the patriotic house and LW motif sampler those will probably be my next two finishes but she is Here is what I have done on her. I'm going down, I finished the baskets and the band under them, and I'm working down the side border. There's birds underneath there, and I'm trying to get to those birds. But this is hand dyed by me too, this fabric. See how big she is? God, I can't, there. And that's just half of it. There's another half to a fabric. So this is, this is her. She's a big one, but she is gorgeous. I love stitching on her. And so every Wednesday is Weston Wednesday. So I will be pulling her out every, every Wednesday to stitch on her. So those are my whips. I've enjoyed every one of those and I want to start everything, but I can't. I wish I could. So up next, um, let me check my notes, is haul. And I got quite a lot of haul lately. Well, market came and stuff like that, and I don't know, I just kept ordering. Up first, I'm in the Dixie Sampler Exchange for spring and Easter spring. And so I got my exchange gift from my partner, and this is it. She sent a sweet card. She sent some red, is this Lady Dot? No, Dames of the Needle. Red pom-pom trim. She sent this Blackbird pattern, which I don't have. She sent this um, Dixie Sampler hand dyed fabric Wolf's, let's see, Wolf's Bane, 36 count, it's a brown. Take it out of the, pretty brown, look at that. And 
And she sent this needle book that she stitched. And this is the inside. She made those pins. And this is my first needle book I have. And I love it. She also made something else. Hold on, I'm just gonna grab it right over here. She crocheted this little ort basket for me. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. So yes, I made out like a bandit. I got spoiled immensely and I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now on to the haul. Um, in no particular order, I'm just going to go through them. Um, I don't remember where I ordered all this from. So first up is Needle, Little House Needleworks, um, the rooster and the hens. I saw a lot of people stitching this, so I had to get it. Can you see it with... Lizzie Kate, springtime time sampler. Stacy Nash Brimitis, let's meet at the garden gate, pen keep. And I just got this one in the mail the other, this came with, um, Lizzie Kate and Little House Needleworks. It's called Faith 1831 by Samplers Not Forgotten. I've been seeing this and I fell in love with it. Pinks, I'm a pink person, I love pinks. So anything with pink in it, I'm drawn to. So I'm really liking that one. And then I ordered, this is the company that did the um, Christmas Garden, Blackbird Design, changed it to English Garden. This is a company that, she's the one that did it. So um, I went on her site and bought a couple patterns. This is one of them. She sells PDF, so one of my sons wants me to stitch him a bunch of patriotic stuff, so I thought this would be neat. But I have her other ones. I ordered like, I bought like, I think three or four of them. Okay. Let's see, let's do, here's a cottage, country cottage needleworks, Liberty, is this Liberty? Yeah, Liberty Lane. I'm going to change the colors. They're too pastel for me. More vibrant. Plum Street, the Wool and Flax Company. Has sheep on it, what can I say? Um, I think I'll just go. I'll do Blackbird. Had to get this. It is so worth the money. If you all are thinking, uh, $30, that's a lot. But there's 16 patterns in here. And they are awesome. So if you divide the 16, say even $8 per pattern, it's definitely worth the money. But this is awesome. Um... This is probably one of the biggest patterns in there. Whoops. Let's see if I can show them without showing the pattern. There's this one. This one. So there's, there's a lot of patterns in there. It's well worth the money. And then I'm trying to get as many Blackbird 
designs as I can get. And I saw this one, and I haven't, I don't have it. And this pillow up in the corner, I really, really love. So I got this book. And then Liberty Hill Farm by Summer House Stitchworks. I'm gonna make both of those. My Heart Can Rest by Blackbird Designs. Love this one. My Dear Heart by Blackbird Designs. The border got me. And this is the first one that I know I wanted when I saw all the market releases. I just, I fell in love with it. And I know it's a big one, but it had me. Teresa Covert's Newcastle Bouquet. Is that not flipping gorgeous? And I will probably be dyeing fabric for that sometime. So that is this episode's haul. Um, I had fun, to say the least. I actually have, do I have more stuff coming in? Well, I special ordered two patterns from Victorian Rose Needle Arts. And um, then I just have fabric coming in. I think that's all the patterns I have. I think all my patterns are in. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. I needed that, especially the last two weeks. Stress, people eat when they're stressful. I shop, I spend money when I'm stressed. So what can I say? It could be worse. So let's get on with the giveaway. That's what y'all are here for, isn't it? Ha ha ha. Um, I said I would have a giveaway when I hit 300. I'm at 303 or 304. So thank you everyone for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, leave comments, I love reading them. I love hearing what you're working on, where you're from. Um, so especially this time when we're all quarantined or self-contained, whatever. So, but I thought a giveaway would be perfect right at 300, so let's get on with the giveaway. What I am giving away will be this set of my floss tags I sell in my Etsy store. This is the only set I have, wait, I might have other sets left. I'll have to look, I haven't looked. But I will be adding more. But see, you get 21 floss tags and they're white on the back. And um, there, are, I think there are seven different patterns, and you get three of each pattern. So you get a set of floss tags, and they're nice and cardboard. They're made out of cardboard. They're not made out of just paper. They're thick. So you get a set of those. Then you get one of my bling for the ring. Um, you can put it on your floss ring, your key ring, your purse make a necklace out of it, but that's the one you're gonna get. Let's see. Try to move that. There we go. It's a mason jar with flowers in it. So you get that. Then you're gonna get this pattern, um, Bluebird Out My Window by Brenda Gervais. I stitched this, so it's, I'm passing it on. And then you're gonna get this. Queen Bee Ray Dunn mug, it's yellow inside, and it says Queen Bee on it. I was able to pick up an extra one. So that is the giveaway, and the question for the giveaway is, how many projects are you working on now? Or are you a 
monogamous stitcher. Like I said, I have five going on now. I want to start more, but I'm not allowing myself because I really am enjoying the five I am doing. So um, when I finish one, I'll pull in another one. Um, so five it is for me. I used to be a monogamous stitcher. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know. Now I'm a multi-project person, so and I love it. I'm not going to change it. So that is a question. How many projects are you working on right now? Are you a monogamous stitcher or do you have multiple projects going on? Answer the question. Don't say giveaway. Must be 18, yada, yada, yada. You know the spiel. Um, so tell all your friends about the flop, my floss tube and have them come over and join. And you must be a subscriber. So and stuff so the next giveaway will be probably 500 so let's see if we can hit 500 subscribers so um, up next are my plans um, my plans are to continue working on the five projects I am um, and join them um, I have some sewing I need to do this weekend I have to work tomorrow um, one of the, the girl who works on the weekends is off so I'm I picked up Friday to work um, so I'm working tomorrow Saturday and Sunday Saturday I know for sure I'm gardening I we haven't even started we were supposed to start last weekend and then the hospital episode with my husband put a next on that and now he's out of commission because he can't lift his arm can't lift anything can't do anything with his um, left arm so I'm going to go out there tomorrow and clean out some of the flower beds and plant my zinnia seeds and get that started. And we have a empty wheelbarrow pot. I think I'm going to get that soil in that and get a tomato plant or something going in that. So we are usually up and gardening by the middle of February. So it is like really late for us and it's killing me. So I got to get out there. And then once everything is bloomed and looking pretty, I'll do a video of my garden area. So other than that, just staying home, staying home and staying safe and staying well. And I hope you all are doing the same thing, staying well. I hope you're all well. So um, other than that, I think that's it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my episodes, my floss tubes. Um, and commenting. I love comments. And if you want to follow me, I am on Instagram as Devon, D E V O N, F L. Am I? Yes, F L. Um, on Instagram. And then on Facebook, I'm Devon Hanna. So um, also, I have an Etsy store, strawberrylane.itsy.com. And um, I have stuff for knitting knitters sewer not sewers knitters and stitchers and they're both so go check that out strawberrylane.itsy.com and other than that nothing else stay well my friends and i'll talk to you in hopefully two weeks